How's it going? How's it going? It's Wednesday. And I was going to go with another story, but this one piqued my interest because I just don't think this is right. I don't think someone could break into your home, live there for free, trash your property, and you have no recourse because squatters' rights. Squatter rights are when a, a piece of land or a home has been abandoned and someone goes in and takes it over. But if a squatter just breaks into your house, it's going to be at least a good six months to a year before you might be able to get rid of them. I mean, there's definitely right ways and wrong ways, but most of the time, the right ways favor squatters. This is from the New York Post, published August 16th, 2023, around 2.20 p.m., Pretty sure that's New York time. Homeowner arrested after trying to evict squatters from his property. Walked in on weapons, prostitute, and a bunch of dogs. Homeowner stopped to check on the suburban Atlanta property only to be arrested for trespassing. Days after the departure of the previous tenant, Tim Orker pulled into the driveway in the house in a desirable Tockard, where he suddenly encountered a stranger waving a gun in his face. I jumped the fence and ran. I didn't know what else to do, Arkel told channel WSB-TV. I didn't want to walk in on a family dinner. I walked in on... I didn't walk in on a family eating dinner. I walked in on weapons, a prostitute, a bunch of dogs in the back, and my fence broken down. He told reporters, after dialing 911 to report the intrusion, Arco was astonished to find himself being arrested and taken into police custody. They told the police that it was a home invader and that it was their home, so I ended up being arrested and detained, Arkin said. Six months later, they're still living in Arkin's home. Two people have died in the residence from overdose during that time. Code enforcement even cited Arco for not properly maintaining the house that he legally can't access. After a lengthy court delays and eviction, order knows was the final sign. Arco still waits for Marshall to Marshalls, however, to conduct the eviction. Arco says he's been informed by the Marshalls that they're hoping for a September eviction. No one likes you. You know you're being in the court system, but it becomes even worse when it, is, when it seems broken down, says John Ernest Atkins, attorney, told a reporter. It feels like there's a very heavily weight towards these trespassers and criminals, not people that get duped. Back in May, similar incidents occurred in Atlanta when an army officer returned to her home to find a squatter living in her spalling $500,000 residence while she was away on active duty. Now, this is what really pisses me off. You go join the military. You get deployed for six months to a year, sometimes 13 months. You're about to come back from the deployment. You're going to say, at least my, I'll have my home. I have my privacy. Just to find out some squatter broke into your house, living rent-free, destroying your property, and there's not a damn thing you could do about it because the law is on the squatter's side. Even if the law is on your side, it takes six months to a year to get rid of them, if you're lucky. If you're lucky. Lieutenant Colonel Dahila Dory told WSB-TV she came home to find out a man by the name of Vincent Simon living in her home. Simon, the man who's been convicted on guns, drugs, and theft charges, refuses to leave the house. The unfortunately discovered made as one's real estate agent began making preparation for the sale of the Holly Hill Parkway home. Well, now you gotta add damages to cover the cost of the damages. Maybe if you're lucky, 10000 if you're unlucky, you got to replace all the copper, all the pipes. 
the drywall, that stuff gets expensive. And guess what? The person you're kicking out has no money. No one. It, it frustrates me. I felt violated. I had not been. <laughs> had I not been serving my country, I would have been in my home, Dory said. The active duty officer told by the police that they could not evict Simon and that the issue is considered a civil matter. No, it's a criminal matter. They're criminally trespassing against her home. Her name is on the deed. But it's a civil matter. That's why it takes so long. That's why you have to go through the court system. That's why you have to hire an attorney and pay thousands of dollars to an attorney for maybe your paperwork to be submitted and a sheriff or a marshal come to your residence to kick them out. I wanted to go shoot out the windows, turn off the water, cut the wires, but I can't. That is a crime. Law-abiding citizens can't do that, she said. That's the thing is criminals have more rights than law-abiding citizens. Because law-abiding citizens play by the rule of law. They play by the rules, which limits their rights, while criminals just do whatever the F they want. Whatever they want, they do whatever they want. They get caught, they get caught. If not, they just keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. Then you have DAs to let them off the hook, let them on a bail, or they don't pursue prison charges or prison sentences. The 4,300 square foot spawning home turned squat booths, five bedrooms, and five baths. Before the listing home, Diary has been renting it out. She spent roughly $35,000 in renovations. This is messed up. And like I said, I want to shoot out the windows, turn off the water, cut the wires, but I can't that as a crime. Law-abiding citizens can't do that, she says. So she was renting it. Probably got tired of renting it. Probably wanted to retire. She's what, a lieutenant colonel? Probably maybe 40. About to, about to leave the military. About to retire from the military, ventured on to her career path of choice. But no, no, she's stuck because of squatters. If the Trump indictment scheme didn't convince me not to relocate to GA, this article adds fuel to the fire. While not every county of GA has gone off the rails, liberal it seems to me that there's not an adequate focus on law and order. The disorder apparently spreads quickly from Atlanta, making the surrounding areas undesirable. Too bad that the tax breaks and the rates for retirees are excellent for the housing costs and properties. Taxes are too low. Or, are low. Let's see. And it will take time for some enterprising person to squat in some city, count county or state legislator house for this madness to end. Find out when the legislator family will be out of town for a wedding or a vacation and move in. Alarm sounding, just tell the cops that you live there and they can't kick you out. What's good for the good, what is good for the goose is good for the gander. Maybe that's what it's going to have to take. We got to go squat on some of these congressmen, congresswomen. People at the state levels in order for them to change the squatter laws. To take away some of their rights. Let's see here. I'm old school. I subscribe to the bygone philosophy of a man's home is his castle. I'm also old enough. 55 to remember signs. Primarily on rural properties that says trespassers will be shot. When that comes to the squatters, we need to return to that way of thinking. The squatters should get one warning to move out immediately. Only one. After that, whatever happens, 
to them. Whatever happens to them, happens. Come what may. A little uh, vigilante justice. As long as the Democrat runs states and cities, it will continue to be wild, wild west. Well, you know, I think a lot of people are waking up to the Democrats game. I don't know if enough of them are waking up. The ones that are waking up are leaving their cities that they called home for most of their life to greener pastures. And the ones that stay are just outnumbered. For those people, the warning should not have been the first step. Arrest and charge for vandalism. And if the squatters are shot, then, the, then their bodies need to be put on public display with a sign hung around their neck saying, I was a squatter and this is the punishment I deserve. I mean, I understand the sentiment. I understand the sentiment. I don't know if I could get 100% behind the message because that's promoting violence. And I believe both YouTube and Rumble says you can't promote violence, but I understand the sentiment. I understand it. If the Dems and Rhinos weren't so obsessed with getting Trump, maybe they can enforce the laws designed to protect law-abiding citizens. Maybe the FBI could help instead of sending SWAT teams to a political foes and use them to arrest squatters. Atlanta is turned into New Orleans without food, music, or fun. Harsh but true. Born and raised in Dakar. 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 Georgia. The most liberal town in Georgia besides Atlanta. And there is a reason I don't live in this area anymore. It's really pretty simple. I mean, I've been to Atlanta, Georgia. It's, a, it's an interesting place. You have house, house, farm, house, house, convenience store, house, house, farm, gas station. It's an interesting place. I don't know if I want to live there. Welcome to Democratic Justice. It's Georgia. You know, the state that's controlled by the darling Wakanda that is doing all it can to railroad Trump and a la Roland Fresher. Georgia justice indict the innocent. I would remove them from my property violently if needed to deal with the consequences after they're gone. Except if you have a DA that will prosecute against you saying they have the right to be there. You didn't go through the proper chains. It's a civil matter. You turned into a criminal matter and now you're under arrest and we're going to prosecute you and you're going to have a jury and the jury is probably going to side with the squatters because the squatters didn't deserve to die because you were winning gun blazing. Not saying that is right. It took that guy six months to get rid of him. Not me. I would have burned the house down. It would be mine. It's mine. I could do that. Let's see here. 12 gauge will get them out faster than six months. You know, there was a story in that uh, Fort Camadotis, whatever the hell that they named Fort Hood. I think it was Fort Hood. I mean, I was at Fort Hood. But I think it was a story that um, some veterans came home. They were dealing with the legal system, going through the court system. Weren't able to get these people out of their homes. Certain motorcycle club came rolling in. Problem got solved. So I understand the supplement. I understand that sometimes going the non-legal route is the most efficient. It doesn't mean that is right. See, if you burned down the house, you would have been violating laws that created dangerous situations for firefighters and others. As soon as the guy proved that he was the owner and the invaders should have been arrested, it in the beginning, it might have been hard for the police to know who was telling the truth. Why don't Georgia lawmakers and those in other states give owners rights and immediately reclaim their property with force 
when trespassing squatters move in? Why do these cases keep happening? Why do squatters have rights? They're crooks and need to be evicted without delay. Haven't you heard that criminals are running the country now? I believe that the politicians would rather tell them squatting in someone's home than on the street than having to take care of them. As a homeowner, you have the legal right to move in and live with the squatters. Further, as the homeowner, you can pitch a tent in the backyard and play loud music, walk around naked, strapped. As a homeowner, one should have the right to have squatters immediately removed and charge as criminals. But it's a civil matter. The police don't want to get involved. Is it the police don't know that if the squatters are renters and you just don't like them anymore and you want to kick them out right away without going through the process? So I kind of understand it. It doesn't mean it's right. <laughs> Release the hounds. Benny Williams in Atlanta is too busy prosecuting President Trump on fake charges to care about real crimes and real suffering. It's very disturbing that there's so many people out there who believe in the ex-president. It's very disturbing the number of asleep idiots that don't. President Trump has been under attack since he announced his president run in 2015. Don't ask yourself why. He's anti-establishment, not for sale. He's for sale. He's a politician. He was a politician before he ran. The reason why I say he's a politician, he was a New York real estate mongol. Different type of politician, but still a politician. Why don't you take that big tasty peach pie for those squatters? You're part of the problem. Ridiculous. Oh, wait, it's Georgia. Nah, I don't believe it. Not possible. Next thing you'll tell me that the Georgia, that Georgia, especially Atlanta, is always downplays the amount of crime that's going on and the media coverage for them. I mean, if crime happens every day and no longer becomes newsworthy. America has millions of squatters. I call them illegal aliens. What happened to the days when you could go to the police station, fill out an affidavit of fraud in California, the owner of the property should file charges of theft. The property should be worth at least <laughs> yeah, $995. When squatters aren't there, let the bed bugs and wasps in the house. Might get in trouble for that. This is no joke. Something very similar happened to my brother's rental property in Pachugo. It took years to get them out and the home, uh, out of the home. And not until the place was absolutely trash inside and out. It took tens of thousands of dollars to put it back together. The fact that you can prove the home is yours and the people living in it have no right. And, they're, and that they are allowed to live there is ridiculous. I mean, it's terrible. This, this video is going on long enough. With that being said, that is my video for today, and have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.